Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy, this is Jake. And so we are here for your weekly update. If you'll take a few minutes, share this on all your platforms. That would be great. Facebook, Twitterverse, um, Instagram, um, MySpace, all of those different ones. Uh, get those out so we can get the word out. We've got some things coming up and we're excited. So Jake, I want you to talk a little bit about what's coming up at the end of the month and uh, then we'll talk about what we're going to do Sunday. All right. So January 31st, we're going to be relaunching small groups. I'm excited yes. about that. Uh, be patient with this group, sir. We're still in a pandemic. I know we have pandemic fatigue and we just, however you feel about that, but we're still in a pandemic. And so some of our groups are kind of, you know, and, you know, and I get it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have groups available. We still have groups that are meeting in homes. Uh, we still have groups that are meeting on campus or in the building per se. And then we're going to do, I'm going to commit and make an effort to really try to get people connected. And so I'm working on two different things. One is going to be a Sunday afternoon where we can get together if you want to meet face to face. And another one's going to be a Wednesday night Zoom call where we connect and we discuss what old Edward's been preaching. All right? It'll be good. All right? So that's a lot of pressure on you, Edward. Oh. So don't be coming with us with any canned well, sermons but did, or whatever. But didn't you tell me last couple weeks ago you write all my sermons? So really the oh, that's pressure's right. on yeah. you, yeah, that's not right. me. Hey, good point. Uh, good point. And I'm waiting on that sermon for this Sunday, good point. by the way, okay. right now. And so I can, I'll email you know. it when we get done with this. So I'm excited about that. And then we, we do have small groups available. So just January 31st, in person, online. Uh, we'll get all that out to you. Also, relaunch and re-engage our marriage oh, enrichment. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and so uh, we need to nail that down like in the next two weeks as well. And so we've already got some couples in the hopper for that. And if you are interested in marriage enrichment, reach out to me. I'll get you in touch with Paul and Woody K. What's Rogers. A hopper? hopper is kind of like a queue. Queue. Yeah. So, huh? Yeah. Hey, and I, I want to say something about that re-engage. It, it doesn't matter where you are in your marriage. This is a great. Um, We've been through it. Program toolbox for your marriage. And I know I've talked to a lot of you guys over the last couple of weeks and even months. This COVID thing's been tough on some of our marriages. And so this would be a great, great way for you to go in. If you're kind of struggling on a scale of one to 10 out of five and you want to be a seven, do that. Some of you guys, you may already have the papers drawn up. And, and this would be a great way for you to go through that. And as Jake said last week, We've had some couples go through that with their divorce papers at the end, tear them up. In the hopper. And uh, get signed up for that. If you got questions about that, you can contact Jake or me, um, Paul or Woody K. Rogers. Contact me. Because if you uh, contact Edward, I may not ever get the message. Contact me. You just threw me out. Really? Threw, anyway, I threw you in the uh, hopper. Get there. So what else you got? Membership, February 21st. Membership, February 21st. That's the third Sunday in February. Uh, we're going to be uh, offering membership class. Sign up, email me, jacobsummonheightsfellowship.com, or you can put on the contact card or the uh, communication card that you want to be a part of membership. It's going to be real cool. I'm excited about what we're doing there as well. So, uh, yeah, January 31st, February 21st, two very big, important dates. And then the last weekend in February, we want to mention that our student ministry is doing a Disciple Now weekend. It's going to look a little different this year because we're not doing host homes. Uh, kids will be staying in their own homes and coming to the church. Uh, I think there's, what, five churches that are joining ours together in this. Yeah, that and we may have a couple together. of churches in the hopper. Um, I think that's going to be my new word for 2021. Or just use it today, not the whole year, because no. it'll get old. Um, but anyway, get your kids signed up. You can go online and sign up for that right now. Be watching for David's updates. David Bright's our youth pastor, and so you can connect with him if you have questions. Um, it's going to be that's going to be a cool deal. And the guy that's speaking, Jake, I met him almost 20, I think 21 years ago, 22 wow. years ago. Um, and so I'm excited to see Stuart again and hang out with him and just hear what he's I wonder if he's. Kids. I wonder if he's excited to hang out with you. I probably not. I don't, I don't know. It's weird how that works. Out. I know. I know. But anyway, uh, can't wait for this Sunday. The last couple of weeks, we've had um, been talking about the lordship of Christ and how important that is in our journey. And when He is the Lord of our life, uh, what's inside escapes. And what a great. Um, I was talking to our buddy Jason Henderson yesterday. Oh, I know. Jason. We, we were talking about that whole 
thing we've been talking the last two weeks that what's on the inside escapes, what you're putting in your eyes, what you're putting in your ears, the things you're listening to, the podcast, what you're reading, all those things, what you put in is going to eventually escape because it, it sets in your heart. And, and so we've talked about that over the last couple of weeks, what's on the inside escapes. When Jesus is the Lord of your life, there are certain things that escape. And last week we talked about evangelism. And Jake, you know, evangelism is simply this, loving people. Loving people. Yeah. Uh, Man, you got me so fired up about evangelism. I can't remember. I came straight to mm -hmm. your house, shared the gospel with you and Danielle. It was good. It yeah. was good. Um, I'm, oh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so anyway, this Sunday is going to be really good. I'm excited about this Sunday. We're going to talk about another thing that escapes when the Lord is uh, huge, on the throne of your huge life. Huge topic. And, uh, do not miss this week. I'm telling you, you're not going to tell them what it is. Nine o'clock or eleven o'clock, and um, it's going to be good. You want to tell them what it you're is? You're not going to tell you, them what you, it you is. Want, you want to do it? You're right, right now. I think it's a big topic. I think. I mean, I think this is the thing that oozes when you, when Christ is the Lord of your life. You just can't help but do this. See, I was just going to put it in the hopper over there. Oh, good idea. And, and, Great and idea. I'm baiting, seeing if they'll come on and, and Put it in the hopper. Or, okay, yeah, let's right, not okay, tell We're going to put it in the hopper. All right. Put it in the hopper. Hey, we love you. We hope you have a great week. We cannot wait to see you Sunday morning, 9 o'clock at risk service. Uh, we ask you to wear masks during that service. 11 o'clock, we have children's ministry, nursery, all of that. Uh, masks are strongly recommended during that. And so, I uh, cannot wait to see you. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. Hey, let's I give him a hint. So the topic that he's going to be preaching on, Edward's not very good at it, but I am. Love you. <laughs>